hello friends i welcome all of you in this video i want to show you one error message which you will get while importing an ova file into your esxi hypervisor the message will be uh, displayed as a required disk image was missing and after that your vm will not actually work so let me tell you that this is a bug and uh, the fix just takes 10 seconds only so let me show you what is the version of my ESXi. It is 7.0 U3F. I'll get into that. Let me also show you how to export VM into OVF so that you can import it at later stage. Uh, I already had the file copied, but I want to show you how to export. So let's say that this is a, a VM I want to export. I'll right click, I'll tick it and make sure that it is powered off. Okay right click click on the export and three files will be selected there it says that downloads will open in a separate tab ensure that you allow pop-ups from this host ip or fqdn all right click on the export uh, export will start okay depending upon the size of the vm it will take time so mine ova file is already downloaded so this is the way to export so let me now talk about the import and the error okay so first of all let me show you these three are the uh, files which i am going to import and then the error message will appear okay so i'll go to this uh, hypervisor i'll click on create and register vm i'll click on deploy a virtual machine from an ov file or ov file so click next so give it a name test 11 and click on to select the files again give a name click here to select the files which you want to import so these three are the files means once you export then these three files will be created dot mf dot vmdk and dot ovf okay once you click on the uh, upload click next only two files you will see here right third file will not get copied it is just that we select all three files click next select the data store uh, keep it thin only and click keep it that uh, power on automatically click next see this error message a required disk image file was missing so if you click on the finish then uh, the upload will start from your workstation to this esxi right it will take around 10 minutes so but this this error message will not let your vm function so don't click on the finish so click on the cancel go to this finder i mean this is a mac machine you may use your window machine and uh, just hover your mouse to the ovf file okay right click open with the text edit in mac or in notepad in windows okay so this is the file which is opened up let me uh, increase its size so this is that ova file so basically we have to remove the reference of the nvram file so in the beginning itself you see that there is some reference here to dot nvram file so just start from here and completely remove this reference okay so i've closed it so now let's close it let's uh, import it test 11 and these three files next 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 now you see that there's no error message click on the finish now you see the upload is going to start this is the first file which one yeah it is importing the vm this see this this is upload so upload is happening uh, it will take some time because actually uh, i am on the wi-fi and in one hour time it will it will be done and then things will be okay right so you learned how to remove this error message it was so easy okay because uh, i spent five six hours doing <laughs> troubleshooting so i thought of recording it so do give me 
appropriate uh, comment in the this video thank you so much